knows that NASA is the number one organization when it comes to using rockets for science. But there's some stuff that NASA never tried. Stuff like, can rockets be used to exercise a carbon-based life form? The rocket, an Orion 620. The carbon-based life form, a lovely little doggy. Optimum speed, around four miles an hour. Once upon a time, dog was man's best friend, but now science fetches man's slippers. So the question is, can a rocket take a dog for a walk? Our Cocker Spaniel Benji has been fitted with four all-terrain wheels. He's been caught short and has to make it to the local park in under five minutes. To achieve this, we've attached this gentle, long-burning rocket here, which should be just enough to drag little Benji here along at around about 100 miles an hour. So there we are, the world's first rocket dog walker. NASA never tried this. OK, Brainiacs, clear the launch site. Take off in T-minus 60 seconds. Final checks. OK, blast off in T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Blast off! The exhaust flames from our rocket reach temperatures of up to 2,000 degrees centigrade. To protect against any burning, Benji has been coated in fire retardant flea spray. Let's go and see if Benji enjoyed his walk. Well, look at that. The rocket is actually emb oh, it embedded itself in the bank and snapped in half. But where's Benji? <whistles> Benji, where? There he is there. Look. Well, he's lost an eye and a leg, but, you know, that often happens when you're walking a dog. Results, please. Thank you. So when man finally uses a pooper scooper on Pluto, you can't say that the Brainiac rocket scientists didn't have a little bit to do with that. Take that to NASA.